So you gave in and decided to call someone? Yeah. I don't know who I was kidding. I can barely use chopsticks. <laughs> You're all set. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, oh, wait, you uh, forgot your, um, your game. Thank you. Hey, Rach. There she is, my perfectly proportioned wife. Don't look at me. I never get his jokes. Thank you? No, no, don't thank me. Thank you. Do you know there is not one thing that I would change about you? Not one single thing. And definitely not two single things. Okay, you're being weird. Do you want sex or did you do something bad? No, no, no. I just love the way you look. I am warm for your form. Okay, um, you know the old classics, like, you know, you look nice? They're still okay. Well, yes, yes, but you look nice can mean that I'm saying, like, your face looks nice. I want to compliment your body. I mean, I wouldn't change it at all. And more specifically, I wouldn't want anything to get any bigger. Okay. I mean, you wouldn't want any part of me to get any bigger, would you? Don't answer that. Just when you thought that dude couldn't get any weirder. I know, why do you think he was so worried about me getting bigger? I don't know. What, I mean, what brought that on? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You know, we're trying to get pregnant, so he's probably starting to freak out about the fact that my body's going to change. No, you really think that's what it is? Well, you heard him. No bigger. You're perfect. Oh. Just don't get any bigger. Oh, my God. He sounded just like my high school wrestling coach. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to talk to Chandler. Yeah, if you don't, I will. Of course your body's gonna change. Your breasts are gonna get bigger. Your ass is gonna get bigger. You're gonna lose bladder control. <laughs> oh, it's just such a magical time. Hi. Hey. Listen, I wanted to ask you something about marriage. Oh, great. Now you're seeking me out to make jokes? I mean, I can see if we're all hanging out, but to come to my home. No. No, I really want to know how you feel about it. Why? Mike doesn't ever want to get married. Never? Never. Wow. Well, are you still going to move in with him? Well, I want to, but I just wanted you to tell me that marriage really isn't that big a deal, you know? That I won't, I won't be missing out on anything. That marriage stinks. Yeah, marriage stinks. I mean, if you want to see a man gain weight and a woman stop shaving, get him married. <laughs> That's not how you really feel, is it? No, I'm sorry. Look, I, I know it's not what you want to hear right now, but I can't help it. I, I love marriage. Seriously? You divorceo? If you have to call me a name, I prefer Ross the Divorcer. It's just cooler. <laughs> Look, look, I know my marriages didn't exactly work out, but, you know, I, I loved being that committed to another person. And Carol and I had some good times before she became a lesbian, and once afterward. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay, that's how you feel. But, come on, I mean, living together will be great. I mean, you guys have so much fun, and you love Mike. I do love Mike. Ah, see? And you were so excited about moving in together before. And you know what you should be. It's a big deal. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, thanks. This helped. Thanks. The divorcer to the rescue. It's not cooler. Yeah, I just heard it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Anything at all? 